Hi, good evening everyone. This is Kyle Carpenter, uh, Corporal, retired from the United States Marine Corps. Uh, here I am sitting in my apartment building uh, in Columbia, South Carolina, where I'm a student. I'm a sophomore majoring in International Studies. Uh, I'm sitting here because of a lot of unfortunate events uh, at the airport have kept me from being with you tonight. But please know I am there uh, in spirit and in thought. And out of all the many events that I've done and that uh, I am scheduled for, this is one that I was uh, very much looking forward to and very excited about. And so from the bottom of my heart, I am extremely deeply sorry that I could not be with you. Uh, but on a more positive note, uh, you couldn't be with better people. Uh, Sentinels of Freedom is just an incredible uh, foundation and organization that uh, truly gives back and truly cares uh, to service members who have given and sacrificed so much of themselves for the betterment, for the freedom of our country and its people and uh, great things like democracy and uh, the ideas of hope and freedom. And uh, we just live in such a blessed nation that so many have, have bled and died for. And, uh, here we, we can go to school and we can get help with school and we can go to classes and better ourselves and get college degrees and go as far as we want and be whatever we want to be because of that sacrifice that so many gave. Uh, you know, it's really amazing that, you know, here we can go into uh, almost a room on every single floor of every building that you can go in and there's a room where you can go and turn a knob and get fresh water, something that some people uh, walk miles and miles for with no shoes on and through 115 degree heat just to get muddy water from a well. Um, you know, the, the fact that we can go to school and not have to worry about our friends making it home safely because of roadside bombs or uh, our family members getting killed or executed because uh, we have they have different beliefs than somebody else. Uh, so what we have here is truly amazing and uh, should not be taken for granted. And the Sentinels of Freedom Foundation is, is helping us remember that and is helping uh, support service members and truly give back and say thank you to those that sacrifice so much. Uh, to Mr. Conklin, Mike, uh, great friend. Uh, you've been there since the beginning, since I was going through surgeries in the hospital. Uh, you are a great person. You have a great staff. Uh, Jenny, to all of you there, uh, thank you so much for the help you've given me, for the support. Uh, when I get phone calls uh, for, to the audience, when I get phone calls uh, from the employees there and from those uh, under Mr. Conklin, it's not just about business and school and what are your grades. It's also about uh, how's Kyle doing and and um, you know how's the student at, who's a sophomore at the University of South Carolina doing and uh, it's about me and it's personal and they truly do care so for that I thank you uh, again I, I wish I could be there with you tonight um, I was truly looking forward to it but uh, I thank you for coming out and for the support uh, for an organization that I truly care about and that has uh, truly been a blessing in my life and has uh, helped comfort me financially and, and helping me, uh, helping advise and, and helping me uh, save my money and put me in a better position to be successful in life and for my next endeavor and uh, future mission, whatever that becomes. But. Uh, I guess a little information on me. Like I said, I'm a sophomore here at the University of South Carolina. I'm majoring in international studies. Uh, I was a, I am a United States Marine. I'm a retired corporal and I spent almost three years at Walter Reed. I wouldn't trade that time for anything. Um, it's where I met Mike, Mr. Conklin and, and uh, established that connection there. And it's just a, a great place of healing a uh, great place of, of networking with your fellow injured service members and just an amazing place to teach you about life and put things in perspective. So would I trade my situation or story or injuries for anything in the world? Absolutely not, because it made me who I am today. And, um, you know, 
as far as my my Medal of Honor goes, uh, it's it's uh, I wear it for all of you. I don't wear it for myself. I don't like wearing it. It's not mine. It represents something much bigger than me. It represents freedom and. Uh, when I do wear it, it is to honor great Americans like yourself, uh, and it's to try to spread the word about our injured service members and what they go through and uh, the struggles we have but overcome and uh, just the great uh, positive things from our service members. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate, I'm very blessed to have this uh, second chance at life, and I'm trying to make the best of it and uh, put a good image on for our military and for our wounded warriors. Uh, I, I accept that responsibility with a heavy heart, knowing that uh, the Medal of Honor is uh, something that so many gave so much more than I did, and I wear it for those who didn't make it back. So uh, with all that said, I'll, I'll stop rambling. But again, uh, you're with great people. You're with a great organization. Mike, uh, and to the people there, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's people, great people, helpful people, supportive people like all of you. That makes me who I am, and that helps me get to the the great and blessed places that I've been fortunate enough to to been able to experience and do and visit over my time uh, as a patient at Walter Reed and as a Medal of Honor recipient. Um, so I appreciate what you have. Enjoy the enjoy the simple things in life. Uh, don't take life too seriously, and to all the veterans that are there, I thank you for your service. To all the active duty members there, I thank you for your service. Uh, to all those who support us and to support those that uh, have, have given the ultimate sacrifice and have given life and limb and blood for the freedom uh, and, the, and the great, incredible things that we have in this country. Uh, I thank you. I hope you have a great night. Be safe. Have a great rest of the weekend. Again, I wish I could be there in the sunny California weather with you, but, uh, you know, they say things happen. At least that's the uh, PG version of the, the military way to say things. But, uh, again, I hope you have a great night. Um, and to the Sentinels of Freedom Foundation, uh, you're incredible. You're doing great things. Please keep it up. Um, and myself and the other service members that you help so graciously truly appreciate it thank you very much good night